I, I just saw that they uh, just added Scott Steiner to the show. Oh, good. So uh, that's very yeah. Cool. I've been on a couple shows with Scotty recently. Uh, matter of fact, I've been on three of them with him, and uh, yeah, it's always good to catch up with the uh, Pump Daddy's good man. Mm -hmm. What What was the matches like uh, when you would work with the Steiners? Cause it seems like you got two got two like very well, individual. You know, everybody asks you who's the toughest guy in wrestling. Who's the toughest guy you ever wrestled in the business? And you know, it's not that who's the toughest guy you ever wrestled. It's who's the hardest matches. And the hardest matches I've ever had in my career were against Steiners. This goes all the way back early days in Japan when I was tagging with Hercules Hernandez where Jurassic Powers. And a reason why some of that was so tough is, uh, you know, me and Herc be on tour for three, three and a half weeks, and all of a sudden here comes the Steiners fresh as a... And they'd wrestle us in the main event on the last big show. And I mean, these guys are just, you know, they got a bump, they got a bruise, and here me and Herc just been busting our ass for, for damn near a month, you know, wrestling every night, travel, whatnot, and, you know, here comes Rick and Scott, and, and God, I mean, we had some wars, they're just awesome, you know, and I mean, it, it, you know, they got what they gave, and, uh, believe me, when you have four guy jeans in the rain in Japan, selling out and it's hard when they you know they got no native blood in the the match but man we used to just tear it up and bomb it but mm -hmm. yeah they're they're they called Rick a pine knot for a reason because he was that's <laughs> <laughs> they're just a couple tough badasses. Yeah. And uh I always thought um and some people sometimes people don't really talk about this they might name other wrestlers but I always thought the Steiners were really uh guys are really influential in, like, the modern, like, style in America because they were the first guys who were doing, like, the, the big throws, big suplexes, and, like, the stiff clotheslines in America. Uh, would you agree with that? Yeah, and the thing, you know, it's hard for a pro wrestler to come, I mean, an amateur wrestler to come into pro wrestling and really cross over. You know, they it's not that there's not a lot of guys who got amateur wrestling backgrounds, but these guys came in as amateur wrestlers and you know i mean and they did all the throws they did the craziest suplexes you could ever imagine but I, you know when it comes time to work a match and be in, involved in a, in a wrestling match you're awesome mm -hmm. i mean i've seen them in so many main events all over the world and i mean they it doesn't matter who they're with they just tear the houses down they're just Awesome, awesome, you know, tag team, and 